All right, let's start with talking about some of the downtown condo construction. So we'll start by mentioning the Mandarin Oriental, just west of Federal Highway, just east of Camino right here, backs up to the Boca Raton Golf Club, also right next to the Boca Raton Resort, which is an awesome place to stay if you're coming to the area for a visit. Check it out. Check out some of our vlogs on that stuff. The Alina also backs up to the Boca Raton Golf Club, right across the street from Royal Palm Place. It's pretty much sold out, I'm told, at this point. Royal Palm Residences, you can see it right here, just south of Palmetto, just west of the Intracoastal. Pretty cool. They're going to have Intracoastal views. One South Ocean under construction now as well. South of Palmetto, just west of A1A. So right across the street from the beach, that place uh, is going to look really cool when it's done. They got a cool concept that they're rolling out. Boca Beach Residences, almost done right now. Also sold out, I'm told, and this place is basically overlooking Lake Boca and the Boca Raton Inlet, which is really neat. Penn Florida intends to build 829 residential units, including lofts, apartments, and assisted living facilities, a 183-key hotel, 70,000 square feet of office space, 130,000 square feet of retail on the ground floor of the residential units, and an extensive network of jogging, biking, and walking paths. The city of Boynton Beach has also done a great job in promoting the downtown area. They've purchased a handful of property over the years and either demolished and or renovated properties in that area. They've also built a brand new city hall in the downtown area, and they've approved many projects on surrounding parcels to help investors and developers build up this area. Let's walk through a couple of the cool projects that are happening in the downtown area. The Pierce will be located right off Federal Highway and Ocean Ave, so right in a prime location. It's gonna have about 300 mixed income residential apartments as well as 17,000 square feet of either restaurant, retail, or office space, and about 150 parking spaces. When this is done, this is really gonna change the way the downtown looks. So if you've been in the downtown Boynton Beach area and you've driven by the city hall and you've wondered what are they doing with all these vacant lots surrounding the city hall area, surrounding that future downtown, well, now you're going to get a little taste of what they're trying to achieve here. The overall development plan includes 898 luxury rental apartments spread out into two 80-foot tall buildings spanning over four city blocks. There's going to be about 23,000 square feet of commercial space. There's a hotel. The interior courtyards will be filled with trees, a swimming pool, and many other amenities. There'll be two parking garages with a total of 2,338 spaces and some 533 of which will be included for public and city use. This is a major project, and if they get this done, this will be a game changer for downtown Boynton Beach. It seems pretty clear to me that Pompano Beach is very focused on developing, growing, and improving. They've invested heavily in many parts of their city, and developers and investors have taken notice of this. Developers and investors that once were focused on Miami and Fort Lauderdale are now moving into Pompano and executing on some major projects. I think this is a huge pro for the city. I do believe that there is long-term upside here in Pompano Beach for real estate owners and investors, even at this moment, because of the massive development and investment and the big plans that this city has to grow. Innovation District of Pompano Beach. It's located on Atlantic Boulevard, a little west from the two other downtown areas that I just talked about. It's on Dixie Highway and Atlantic Boulevard in that general area east of 95. So still in the east, great location. And they're looking to develop all of Atlantic Boulevard over here, which looks really cool. So they have some really big plans. They're increasing the density and they expect to generate over 30,000 jobs when this is fully done. It's about a 70 acre area that they're planning to do their master development on and their master plan. There's going to be offices, retail, hotels, residences, and they're really getting into some cool innovative ideas like they're building this innovative waterway system. It's going to take some time though before we actually get to see a finished product for the innovation district. And when we talk about nightlife, I think we have to mention Harris Pompano Beach, which was once known as the Isles Casino. They have a major redevelopment in progress here, and this area is going to be greatly transformed when it's done. 
Caesars and Cordish are behind this major redevelopment project. They said the mixed use development at Harris Pompano Beach will be called the Pomp. The complex is to feature two hotels, an array of entertainment and dining, retail and office space, and 4,000 luxury residential units. What's also really cool is the Pomp is going to have a top golf venue that should be finished soon, they say. And because there's not really a top golf venue very close in this North Broward, South Palm Beach market, I think it's going to be extremely busy. It's going to be a hit, I'm sure.